One helpful thing in your spiritual search is quit trying to figure out what everything means. Now, I know it's a natural human thing, and we even really elevate the idea of seeking meaning as this, this, this great human quality. And I don't totally disagree with it. But in terms of spiritual growth, seeking meaning oftentimes, if not most of the time, becomes the ego's agenda of clarifying things on its terms, okay? So let's say the ego, as an analogy, is like a colorblind person. And let's say that the spiritual experience happens in color. So the person, the colorblind person, the ego, experiences purple. Or let's say you experience purple and you try to describe it to the colorblind person. And the colorblind person only sees shades of gray. Now, I don't know what they see, okay? I think they do see some colors, but whatever. Um, so the colorblind person, let's say, sees thousands of shades of gray. And you're trying to explain purple. And the colorblind person keeps insisting just, exp okay, I understand you say it's purple, but in terms of shades of gray, which shade would that be? So what they wanted you to do is they want you to translate purple into something they can understand, which is a shade of gray. And what good does that do? Why put something in those terms. Why not stretch to imagine purple? Why not tell the person, well, there's this thing called purple that I know you can't perceive, but I'm not going to just ass assign it a random shade of gray. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about purple because that's what I experienced. Now, if I'm the colorblind person who temporarily saw purple, I might try to explain it to myself as a shade of gray. But anyway, all of this stuff, putting things into meaning, is really dumbing down intuition and spiritual experience. And we all do it. And, but the thing is, so for example, there's in astrology and many other things, it's about archetypes, right? It's like, I have Jupiter in the first house, for example. Now, Jupiter in the first house, if somebody said, well, what does that mean? What does that mean that you have Jupiter in the first house? Well, it means a lot of stuff. It's an archetype. It's like saying, hey, that guy... That French guy that I met, he is so French. My God. Typical French. Well, what does that mean? Does that mean it's an old guy with a beret sipping a glass of red wine at a cafe with a cigarette dangling out of his lips? Does it mean it's a young guy in cool clothes with a cool car or whatever, you know? Does it mean, I mean, there's a million 
so French archetypes, right? So Jupiter in the first house. Optimistic person, lucky person, large person, right? There are a lot of meanings. And I could go on and on and on about what Jupiter in the first house means. But it doesn't just mean one thing. You kind of have to feel it out. You have to kind of grok it, if you know that term. Um, and so, this whole idea of what does something mean? Just a little tip. Beware of that one. Beware of the ego trying to claim something that's bigger than it and put it in its jurisdiction because it's not about that it's about transcending the ego and joining the mystery in its jurisdiction it's not about taking the mystery and cramming it into your head that isn't really what anything is all about although that's what the ego is going to want to do so what does that mean try to try to bypass that question try to feel the answer try to get it on other levels and then also realize you're a human, you can't help it, you're gonna want to assign meaning. And just balance that with understanding that certain things don't have a set meaning. What does it mean if I see an owl flying overhead going east? Well, you could probably Google that and find a meaning. I'm sure you could. But does that mean that's what it means for you? Not really. So just watch yourself with this what does it mean thing. And especially watch for other people kind of diminishing the magic of your experience by slicing and dicing it with the intellect using the tool of what does that mean? What does it mean to laugh until snot is coming out of your nose? What does that mean? I don't care, but it's sure as hell fun and Tissues are readily available, so not a problem. Thanks so much for watching.